me. All right. Myself and my cohort, Maureen, are out here at McGee Marsh Wildlife Area. And once again, in that tree, way, way back there, you can't see. There's eagles, 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 and eagles. And yeah, I've been back there too. <laughs> but, um, see what we can, we'll see what we can see. So far, we've seen the eagle that as I got out and took off. And I was about to whip his ass, but it just took off. So I can get up there. What's this person doing jogging? I don't know. <laughs> Looks like we're walking. I don't know. I got nothing. Anybody home? Is anybody home? No, they're not home. I think I said to say, yeah, hold on. I'm right there. I was in the bathroom. <laughs> they come out. No trespassing. They put a wire across there, really. Because you have to go in on that side and go on. I know, exactly. Yeah. Don't tell me I have to. Who's going to tell you you can't? You know, who's out here? Really? Nobody. I mean, they had a tar this whole area. I worried about all the animals with that tar. I'm like, oh my god. Stinks from here. Yeah, I think that was just not good. And they took that whole section down. Well, of course, the, the eagles are done nesting, but they took that all down so they could tar the whole thing. People out there looking, thinking they're gone. And if they are, they're only stopped by the nest. Because they're not, you know, they're done. Yeah. I mean, the uh, birds are like, oh, we're flying, we're flying. Because they had four back there. Four? Four, yeah. So did you ever find out which one blew down? No, I did not. And I wa I went the whole thing, I did not. But I didn't go to one area. I did see several other areas, but I did not find out which one. Which, and because, you know, COVID, it's hard to get a hold of anybody who, yeah. you know, actually would know anything, so I have not been able to get any information in that, on that. But the ones that I, I checked and stuff, and there, there is one at the one area on the, on the auto drive, but that one was up, so I, I didn't see anything, I mean. Oh, happy all this poison ivy is. Oh, yeah. I have to get out and take one walk. No. Yep. I tell you, they have boats lined up. They 
just party out here and stuff. And I'm like, it was never like that before. That's why they're trying to make it too wild. Like, they don't want to get have to get. Is it fed still or no? Are you staying or are you coming? I'm coming. Um, I don't know, but they want to. They want to try to keep. Um, and I know that's what they wanted. They want to try to keep it so that they want to have some station somebody out here to watch the people. Yeah. Because you know that would happen. So somebody would get hurt, and they go up, well, and we're going to sue. I would be like, oh, yeah, you can sue if you want, but, you know, guess what? You're screwed. <laughs> okay, I'm putting you guys down for a minute. I'm going to take my little thing here, take my little thing here, take my little, zip up all my little zippers. I have somehow, stupid me, I have like three inhalers. I have one I have been able to find. I don't know. I got nothing. I got to look through my whole car. I dig out stuff and everything and all that. Okay, everybody. We're going to get the camera. Put that around my head. And we're going to go out. Out, out, out. Well, I just watched her lay Oh, hold, oh, hold on. Let's go. Let's go see. Who laid an egg? Yes, really? Where I just watched her laying an egg. Hi. Don't see it, so I might be imagining it. She just landed on one of these, and I swear her tail went right over. There's a little ladybug or something. I don't know what that is. Like yep. Now, what does it mean when there's one flying upside down or hanging and one what? flying like two monarchs? I've been I've seen that a few times. I tried to look it up, but I couldn't find any information. Because I've seen them like one's flying and one's upside down. I don't know. <sighs> I don't see it. Oh. What's this? Oh! That ain't no monarch. The caterpillar. It's cute, whatever he is. Yeah. I have no idea what he is. I don't either. I got no idea. I know some of them can, pin can pinch and shit. Well, that, you know, the, what do they call it? Um, the yellow one with the ear? Oh, yeah. Or you know, you see those all the time. You don't see them anymore. Well, I have them in my yard on occasion. But... I hold them. I let the kids hold them. We always did. But you just let them, you know, you just hold them. You don't mess with them, yeah. We always held them. We never got yeah. bothered. Uh, I got my mask on my head. How are you doing? Good. Is that All right. place? It is. It's one of those kind, you know, you can just pull it. You know where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, I finally figured it out. <laughs> Right here. See that right there? Oh, no, it wasn't. I lied to oh. you. See, it's crawling away. Oh, yeah, it's okay. It's spider. Right. If that wasn't a egg, that's a pretty moving egg. Yeah. Ah. Don't get eggs in the legs and brain. <laughs> they should have got to go. I got to learn faster. <laughs> so, so oh, my God, it smells good, though, don't it? Yeah. Oh, this is the first time I ain't seen a whole bunch of boats out here. Uh oh, yeah. headstone. It's a hackstone, that's good luck. There you go. She walks, walks in and finds a hackstone. You did a bitch. Because my husband has to, they're right out there at that point. That's on that side. Oh, yeah. He's watching it. This is cool. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. What a beautiful evening. Yes. Yeah. But when the waves were turning over, mm -hmm. and I was, it was green. Oh, wow. But it was green. 
Yeah. Everybody, this is Lake Erie. <laughs> this is the Atlantic Ocean. Wolf tracks. Wolf tracks. Yeah, wolf. We have wolf on here. Woof, 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 woof. Okay, but I'm a tale of story. All right, I'm watching the fiddle, but... 60 years ago, 70 years ago, I was out here. <laughs> it's important day I do. See the monument? You see those two seagulls right between them? Uh-huh. Right oh. right oh. Anyway, go ahead. I'm gonna... 70 years ago, I was out here, and Christopher Columbus come in on a boat. I couldn't believe it that he came in on a boat. And it was a pretty cool boat because he had actually a boat phone. And we were sitting here and we started talking to him. It's hard to understand because he had kind of an accent. But yeah, it was kind of interesting. Because I never met somebody that was like millions of years old. Or thousands or whatever. Millions or thousands? So, I don't know how old he was, he never said. But it was pretty interesting. He said he discovered America. They told me he discovered the Gee Marsh. He said I was wrong. I slapped him. Am I wrong? I slapped him. I slapped him. I, 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 you know, he's going to argue with me. I'm not having that. So he cried and they got his vote in my way. That's my story. 70 years ago on this day. On this day. <laughs> Glad to <laughs> God teach them guys who's boss. Especially has some kind of weird ass accent. Yeah, yeah. Don't understand him. Out of sight. Ah. She told me it's blasphemy, lying like that. I know how terrible. What a horrible little man. What the hell? Probably related to Christopher Columbus somehow. Yes, he was Christopher Columbus. Oh, I don't think of Napoleon. Sorry, but Napoleon's a short ship. Well, maybe they're related. I have this. I have this crazy phone. I don't here. I got this phone is on the phone. The camera's on the side again. There's like four of them. I gotta screw it. I got tech support for a month. I'm gonna call him up and ask him how all this shit works. Cause I gotta use all my head just to figure out how to share my YouTube channel with people because my other phone just had a share button. That's, huh? I know, I, I am, well Max said yesterday, he said, well there's some three little bungee. I said, I said, but that was on the other phone, Max. I said. Mine, this one's newer and it doesn't have a share button. Why would they take that off? It made it so much easier to share your, your channel. Yeah, mosquito, that's the second one. Well, I tell you, they're coming out and they're like crazy. Well, fighting bastards. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah. What the, what the, the hell? Yeah. Come on out here and get me. Come on. <laughs> Come on and get me. What type 
which one are you? God, you know, I gotta find that out. I don't know. I don't need to find I don't know what that is. It's stone, but it's not a, it's not a hag stone. Kind of cut. Well, that one's got a hole in it. Ah. Thank this you. One, this is the kind of like bite up your nose and <laughs> couldn't get it up, so I threw it. <laughs> I said my nose pierced. I had my, my lip pierced. Did you really? I had my navel pierced twice. Oh, why? But, but my butt, you know, working. It kept the boxes were landing right there, and dogs would come up and jump on me, and my friend's daughter kept grabbing my navel ring, and then my dogs would come and give me kisses, but their teeth would get caught on my lip ring. Oh hell! So no. I, so I, I just took it out. I just took it out. I'm like, well, it was years later. I took it out. So when they would come up and try to give me a kiss, I had to hold that side of my face. <laughs> my mom said, what are you going to do next? Get a whole arrow put through your head? <laughs> Funny, Mom. <laughs> yeah. See, I don't, I don't like that, man. Josie had her nose pierced. And she had her navel pierced twice. Once on the top and once on the bottom. That's what I had. Top and bottom? Yep. I had the top first and then I got it the second time. Yeah, that's what she did. I'm like, why? Why? What's, What's the point of it? It was something to do. I mean, it was something to do. You know, it was a time, the situation, you know. I mean, you know, we all looked better. The times were different. You know, a lot of people were wearing, you know, cut off shirts or half shirts. Yeah. Now a lot of people don't because it's just not the thing now. Yeah. Everything is, every time is different. If I did that because they were doing it, I wouldn't go get nothing like that now. Because I don't know who's... Some places are not safe. Well, you know, there's a girl that went to school with my brother Matthew. And I think she passed away maybe 10 years ago. Maybe even longer than that now. But she ended up getting a certain type of hepatitis from the wrong type of needle. Ooh, yeah. And that's what ended up taking her. Her life. See, that I wouldn't... Not now. Nope. Because I don't know. I did mine myself. See this? Uh huh. Got drunk one New Year's Eve. <laughs> I did it myself. You're just... <laughs> oh wow! Okay. I was. Uh... I was, My mom was 33 when I was born. I was 33 when my mom died. Oh wow! And Jesus was 33 when he died. Wow! So I decided that I'm gonna drink too much and be my own year. <laughs> and I'm telling you, it's robbed for a week. And I thought, John was so pissed. He's like, why would you do something so goddamn dumb? <laughs> and, uh, here it is. 25 years later. <laughs> I had my doctor did my first ones. My friend did one. My sister did, I think, my other two. My mom wasn't happy about that. Um... So they have five on one side and three on the other, and then the top ones were done by somebody professional. And um, then after that, they couldn't do the top of cartilage. They couldn't do that no more. But I got like right in time. And uh, then I got the other one done. And I was like, why aren't they even? I'm like, because I want them. <laughs> mine, I wish mine was in straight. It's not in straight because when I shoved it, you know, I just froze my ear. Put alcohol on the straight hat pin. Oh. Grab the potato <laughs> and shoved it in. Wow. And then it was bleeding so bad. Wow. I couldn't find the hole, so I ended up finding my old starter set and uh, shoving, shoving that in. Holy shit. Yeah, but it was bleeding like a sieve. Yeah, you know, I don't bleed up there. Oh, I bled like crazy. Wow. Just goes to show you, you shouldn't do it when you're drunk because oh, oh that's right that's right yeah blood. that's yep yeah, that's right that's right you shouldn't get any any actually they shouldn't tattoo you or pierce you at a place when you've been drinking well and most places will turn you away but unless they're not that good well when you do it yourself yeah there you can't really turn yourself away yeah, yeah. a little different story yeah, that's how it went down well, I got my second navel piercing 
I got it. And, and I'm out. It's hot. I don't have to work. I got my nice firebird. I'm out there washing it in the front yard. My parents' house. Washing. People come by looking at me. I'm thinking, oh, looking at my car. You know what they were looking at? What was they looking at? All the blood on my shirt where my oh, neighbor was. Shit. I was bloodied. Oh, it all shit. came out, but I was bloodied. I'm thinking, oh, yeah. And I'm like, oh, shit. I'm up. Because I was drinking a beer. I forgot. I figured that's hot. I usually don't do that. But I said, I'm going to have me a beer. That pad me a beer and I was bleeding. The beer sounds good right now. I'll take it. So then I, I dumped that out and I quit. I'm like, nope. And then I changed my shirt. I thought everybody was digging my car. No, they were looking at the blood. The stupid blonde was... Bloody ass shirt. The, <laughs> all the blood on the dumbass blonde shirt. I'm like, what is she doing? Yep. There's usually an eagle sitting up there on Sini today. About a month ago when me and Josie and the boys and Summer came here, we jumped in right over there. Oh wow. She walked down here, took all our shit off and jumped in. And boy is it deep on that other side. Really? Yeah, it starts out shallow. But then it got real deep. Like on the other side of this thing? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yep. And then when we came back, it was a bitch to climb up. Oh, I bet. Like, how deep do you think it is? I couldn't, I didn't try to touch. But I, uh, when we jumped over, uh -huh. I could touch. The voice could touch. And then when I swam out a little ways, I couldn't touch. Oh. Down over there, and oh man, it was nice. There's a little beach like that over there. Yeah, it was nice. I caught my little beach. It is. There were schools and schools and minnows. Oh wow. Yeah, it's only this deep. Oh, that's not bad. Go, go, go. Well, when you get out, boom. Yeah. Different story. There we go. Great Lakes are a diamond on the hand of North America. Yep. Beautiful though. I'm sorry, I think it's beautiful right here. I wish we could set up a tent right here and stay. Yeah. I went to a tent at Kelly's because we had to move. Uh -huh. You can hear the waves crashing all night. So yeah. peaceful. You know, that shit's peaceful. Yeah. But I thought it was going to snow the first night we were there. It was so cold. Oh, wow. Yeah, I thought when you guys were camping, I thought you were down in southern Ohio. No. Ooh, that's pretty. I think like it's fun. It's light, though. It's real light. Okay, everybody. Peace out. There's my audience. A little audience, but it's my audience. Peace out.